so after a mildly stressful uh, scramble to get up the line for first round because we had to do some rear end stuff, I'm only starting YouTube now. My hat's a little bit crooked, but it's I. Right. Um, that's all I got right now. Let's go racing. Okay, so that was a crazy, hectic service, and I didn't get to film literally anything. We're up here on the line again. It's time to go fast. Let's go racing. Also, can I just talk about how good this conscious of my body looks? And statistically, we haven't lost a round since this has been on the car and since the Texas flag has been on the roof. So. <laughs> Safety Safari clears off the top end of the racetrack, and just like that, we fire up Terry Haddock, currently the number 14 qualifier, and Alex Laughlin, currently the number 13 qualifier. Both were down in the O zone earlier. We've got 12 cars qualified in the threes, and already, if you want to be in a quick half of the field, you got to outrun a 392. That's the number that Chad Green has put up on the board. CSI is Texas's very own Concha Supply Incorporated, not to be confused with the crime drama. Priority Mechanical Systems helping out Terry, T&E Haulers, and Alex Laughlin. They do a much shorter burnout, shorter routine with the Haviland machine, so there's no issue here. Just a matter of everybody knows how much time you're expecting to take, and well, if my routine's longer than yours, I start first. So look, here's the deal. I would love to see Alex Laffa make a nice run. Alex, I want to see you go 392, whatever. Let's do, we got to talk Terry here. This is the moment, man. This has to be it. Terry Haddock has never gone in the threes in his career. They have gone four flat. They have gone 401. They are sick of seeing the number four in their lives. This has to be it. It's got to be it. I said that earlier. I know, but now I'm saying it. Oh, I see. So it's for real now. <laughs> right. Well, Terry, it's for realsies because Brian said yeah, it. Yeah, see? But, man, it would be perfect. Home state, this racetrack, this night, for the love of God, I just want to see it for him and his team. Let's see if we can make it unanimous. Joe, whose side are you on? He's on Team Haddock as well. He's okay. on Team 399. Yes. Chris Monahan has taken the opposing position. Very bold. Bold stance. One at a time. You only get to do it for the first time, one time. There it is. There it is. Oh, come on, man. Four. Come on, oh, man. One. 311 miles an hour. I think Johnny West did that on purpose. All right, we're here with Johnny West. Go. <laughs> he won the Texas Invitational. He got engaged, and he just went 4:01. The racing gods are making you wait. No, we're just, you know, we got problems with the motor. We got a lot of scuffing going on. You know, the motor's trying to hurt itself way down there, and that's what we're trying to fix. I know that if we can make the motor right, the car will do it on its own. It's, it's going to get tired of waiting on us, especially me, but it's going to it's going to do it on its own. Well, maybe tomorrow. Get back to work. It's been a great week here at the Stampede of Speed for Terry Haddock and his family. Take another look at this on the NHRA.TV replay. Haddock and Laughlin basically swapped spots on that run. We watched Terry's car. Now, the burst panel was out of it at the finish line. Those things just uh, knocked themselves loose. Watch again from the far end of the racetrack. Watch over on the right side. See if you see any kind of a pop, flash, anything right at the base of the windshield.
Yeah, I did. As soon as he took his foot off the gas, it uh, her popped. Heather. Hello. Okay, I guess she doesn't want to hang out with me. You I too. <laughs> I wait. <laughs> Hi, Ashley. You too. <laughs> My first job. Yeah, yeah we got to put your little patch on right there. <laughs> I'm not hanging out with them anymore. <laughs> on the line, uh, it's Gravy. Also, nicknames stick around here. So this is Gravy, because he looks like young Gravy. He's gonna be hanging out a bit, hopefully. Um, yeah, we're on the line. I've kind of sucked at YouTubing all weekend, but it do be like that sometimes. And uh, we are running Robert Hyde, it looks like. And that's all I got right now, honestly. Oh yeah, we're going through a lot of parts right now, too. So that's fine. Got all the conscious supply, guys. That's cool. Everybody's decked out in CSI. Heck yeah. It's our turn. Chad Green just ran a 385 or a 386, so that was an awesomely fast run. Congratulations to them. That was cool to see. What's up, Mr. Keith? Say hi to the vlog. That's Mr. Keith. Mr. Concho Supply? Texas. Yes. Texas. Okay. Dad is tied in the car. We are up here for round one. Uh, yesterday we elected to skip uh, Q4 just so that we could get some parts and pieces together for today, just in case. And uh, yeah, let's go racing. It's the stampede of speed here at the Texas Motorplex. We're gonna go fast. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. Six, six, 298 miles an hour for Robert Height. The tires began to smoke early in the run. That is breathtaking. That is breathtaking. With Terry Haddock, a native Texan who pulls off the upset of round one so far and beating Robert Height. How important is a win like that for you at a racetrack that means so much to you? You know, this place means so much to us because it's home. All my friends, all my family, the Meyer family, it's just an amazing experience to even be part of it, let alone win a round, and then to beat the best in the world. I mean, these guys are unreal. We're just so fortunate to be out here with them. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. On to round two. Thank you, big job. Sorry. Oh, it's a 
up on the starting line. Oh, sir. Yeah. 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 This is pretty awesome. This team's gotten better and better all year long. We have our struggles, but it's been amazing what's on me and Joe and everybody. Like it's, it's, it's fun. I like racing. Thanks, y'all. Thank you, guys.